Hello and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. And I've just received this pack 10 of the Agora Models Routemaster bus. Now, because of where we're up to on this build, the majority of this pack is gonna be working on that outer framework. You see all these parts look very similar. All framework pieces. We have got a few extra little bits. I think that's the driver's door. And there is going to be some actual outer panelling. Uh, that's part of the, the roof. And so is that. And so is that. So we're really going to be doing framework and a bit of outer panelling. So here we are, the instruction for pack 10, uh, stages 91 to 100. And it is framework, framework, driver's door, framework, framework. Then we put the uh, ceiling on the upper deck and then some roof paneling and windows, window trim. Now look at this. This is the first thing that appears in the instructions. And it's basically alerting us to a problem with this bell pull mechanism. Um, an error in the original instructions and they're telling you how to fix it. I don't think I can get at this anymore. This is this is way back. This is the upper deck and that's already been screwed on. So I think we'll ignore that for now and move on to stage 91. We've got a nice big chunk of frame, a window frame, a couple of windows and a, a chrome handle and a window wiper, window winder. Well, this was a fairly quick stage, just a piece of framework, uh, inserting the windows there, a little handle at the front. And we've also got this little uh, window winder there. That's it for stage 91. Now stage 92, pretty much the same. Piece of framework, putting some windows in. This is what it looks like. That's obviously gonna go on the back of the bus over the uh, rear wheel arch. Now that's the rear side panel, and I'm gonna join these two together now. I'm gonna go in there like that. It's gonna look pretty good. Now we're gonna hang this side panel on the side of the bus like that. Look at that. Well, those side panels went on really easy and the alignment was perfect. So I was uh, really happy with that. Some of the other parts weren't quite so true, but that went on absolutely dead easy. Now stage 93 looks pretty cool because we're gonna put the driver's cab door on, which I think slides open and closed. And also a little light at the back over the uh, platform. Now this looks really nice. This is made of metal, this one. Uh, the other side is made of plastic on the inside, I think. But nevertheless, when it gets put together, I think it's going to look lovely. So that's a very nice looking door. And we've got to try and get that into the cab now. Well, that's the driver's cab door on. But on my model, when I actually fastened this screw in here and tightened it all up, this door wouldn't open and close. Um, it's too tight, so I had to take it off and sand it. It's still a little stiff, but you can see it does open and close. Now we get to put this piece on, which we got some time ago. Uh, that's gonna go on the front, in front of the destination blind. And I'm liking the look of that. On to stage 94, and now it's time to start on the right-hand side framework. So very similar to the other side, just gotta put some windows in here. I think it goes that way. Well, that's the first panel on. Uh, really nice alignment, gone on really well. Uh, got the two windows in and this little silver step here, which looks rather nice. And now we're on to stage 95, which is the another framework on the right wall, this one at the back over the, the rear wheel arch. And this is very similar to what we've just done. And I'm liking the look of this. It looks as though they put four magnets in here so that you've got a, 
a cover for the uh, battery box. Well, there it is, stage 95 done. It's going to go on there, but uh, we're not putting it on yet. Because I think we've got to do something with the roof and we've got to get all this wires tidied up before that goes on. Now in stage 96, we do some more framework here. This is for the back of the bus and we're going to put the number plate in there. Uh, but also we're going to put the upper ceiling on, on the, on the top deck. And from what other people have said, that can be actually a pretty tricky step. Now there's quite a lot of parts in this, uh, in this stage. There's some lovely framework for the back of the bus. Got a nice little number plate there. Uh, brake light fitting and a brake light. Loads of screws. Uh, that's for putting the top deck on. Some stickers. Uh, so, nice little stage to do. Lovely little number plate fitting that. Look at that. There we are. That's going to look fabulous on the, on the back of the bus, isn't it? Now, who knows what's going on here? Uh, we've come to this point here and we've been working on the right side of the bus and now it's telling us to go back onto the left and finish off putting some screws in. And it's almost like somebody said, oh, we forgot to put the screws in on the other side. Better insert it in here. So we go over to the left side and put all these screws in, which could have easily been put in at the time when we were putting those left panels on. So anyway, not sure why that happens on these, but that's just the way they do it. Now in the very next instructions, we're actually going to have to correct an error that was made earlier. And when I put this together, I thought this was really weird. We've got this light here in this cable hanging down the stairwell. And they've now realized that uh, we're going to have to correct that. So we're going to have to take the back of the bus off to reroute that cable. So I think it's a pretty simple fix. You've just got to take a few screws out and the back panel will come away. So it's a quick job. Uh, the wire just has to go down behind the seat and it, and it now comes out the back of here through this slot. But again, should have been done like that in the beginning. And now we come to what a lot of people have said is a very tricky bit. We've got to try and get the roof of the top deck on. And the problem is trying to get it on and get all these hand poles into the slots on the top. Well, for me, that did not turn out to be that difficult. I just uh, put all the windows down, laid the roof on top, went through he these gaps with a pair of forceps, gradually teased each of the poles into the slot at the top. And I reckon it took me about 10 minutes to get that roof on. And if you look in there from the back, they're all in. No, no major issue with that. Not a problem. I'm so chuffed about that, how easy that went on, because I've been, I've been dreading it. But anyway, now I can just screw it, screw it on. Now I've seen other people online suggest that in order to get this on, you need to dismantle the whole roof and put it on in sections. But uh, I didn't need to do that. It's gone on pretty easily and now it's all screwed on. So I'm really happy with that. And doesn't it look brilliant? And now we've got to screw the top metal frame to the side metal frame. So this is really getting bound together now. Well, there it is with the side frame all fastened together. Again, you had to screw that fairly tight to pull it in, but uh, it's turned out really nice. Now in stage 97, the first actual roof panel is going on and some rain shields around the windows. But before you actually get to that, we finish off putting some panels on the back of the bus. Now this is what we've got to put on and believe it or not, this was made in stage 60. And we're now on to stage 97. So show us how long we've been sitting on that. I've just screwed a window on that and now it's going to be fitted on the back. And that's the back panel on. 
Now here we come to another flaw in the instructions in my opinion, because they're telling us to start putting the roof paneling on. And this is before we've actually finished the outer framework. And I don't see any point in this, but this is just something that happens in part works. Now there's a problem with these roof parts that I've been supplied with, and that is that these are at the bottom of the box and the, the plastic packaging has been pressed into the roof panel. And when you take it out and have a look, it has scratched the surface. And it's done that on all of them. So I've uh, contacted Agora and they're gonna send me some new ones. Now there is another big problem with these roof panels and this has been discussed online and that is this zigzagging row of screws that grows, goes across the top. It's not realistic, it looks messy and a number of people who made this bus have tried to rectify that by coming up with an alternative. And the best alternative seems to be to cut some plastic strips like this, which will eventually go on there like that and paint those to color match the model. So I'm, I'm gonna have a go at spray painting this with Tamiya X7 red paint, see if we can get a good color match. So I'm cutting three of these from plastic sheet, which is half a millimeter thick. And I'm cutting the strips 11 millimeter wide. So I've given these strips a couple of coats of red paint. Uh, it's not quite ready there yet, but I just wanted to bring it in for a color match. And well, it's not exact. Uh, but I think when it's um, when it's got some clear coat on the top, you're not really going to notice it. And it, it will be a, a separate strip, so I, I don't think you'll really be able to tell. So I'm going to give these another, another coat, another one or two coats, let them dry really well, then put two or three coats of clear coat on, then polish them up, and hopefully we can get a really nice finish. So I'm gonna skip forward in the instructions now a bit and I'm gonna sort out all this wiring and get this final side panel on. Well, that's the wiring all tidied up and that's come out uh, pretty good. Um, so now we can put the side panel on. And there it is, that's the final side panel gone on at the back and uh, looking a lot better. Now round about the battery box, cables all look good. Very happy with that. Now the last bit that I'm going to do on this pack is to put these things on which are called rain guards and they go over every window that opens and there's some on the top deck, some on the bottom and once I've put all those on, I'll be done. So I came across another error in the instructions when fitting these rain shields over the windows. It says quite clearly in my instructions that the ones on the top are labeled F1 and the ones on the bottom deck are labeled F2. It's actually the other way around. When I put the F1s up here, they were too long and they were bending. But anyway, they're now all on, on both sides. Well, here we are, it's looking pretty big. And uh, that was a mammoth stage pack 10. Um, I haven't got the roof on yet because I'm waiting for my new roof panels to arrive but uh, it's coming on pretty good and I was pretty chuffed to get this roof on without having to dismantle it as some other people have done. That was a bit of a fist pump moment. But anyway, it's uh, looking fantastic, but for now, that's where we're gonna have to leave it. So I'll say goodbye, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures.